Insulin resistance is a widespread condition impacting a significant portion of the global population. Despite being a leading cause of mortality, it remains undiagnosed and often misunderstood. In this video, we will delve into the concept of insulin resistance. Stick around and by the end of the video, you will gain insight into some key signs that may indicate the presence of insulin resistance. Insulin, a crucial hormone in our body, plays a key role in regulating blood sugar levels. Its primary function involves signaling our cells to absorb glucose, effectively lowering our blood sugar. After consuming a meal, when our blood sugar rises, the pancreas releases insulin. This hormone facilitates the transfer of excess glucose from the bloodstream to our cells. This ensures that your liver, kidney, heart, and brain receive a continuous supply of energy. Insulin resistance occurs when our cells lose their ability to respond appropriately to insulin, making it difficult for them to efficiently absorb excess glucose from the bloodstream. The resistance of our cells to insulin raises the question, why does this happen in the first place? This phenomenon is a manifestation of homeostasis. When there is an excess of anything, the body tends to develop resistance, striving to return to its original state. Homeostasis oversees the internal environmental conditions to ensure the sustenance of life. It happens when the body attains a relatively stable internal environment. Its role is to regulate the internal parameters of the body, such as temperature, glucose, and salinity ensuring the optimal conditions for life to function. The nervous system oversees and regulates these processes. For example, when you wear loud headphones, your body adapts by developing resistance to the loud sound. This resistance manifests as a decrease in sensitivity to the noise, leading to a temporal decline in your hearing ability. Also, when exposed to intense brightness outside, your pupils constrict. This response represents your body resistance to the excessive light, as it limits the amount entering your eyes. A clear example of resistance in action. Goosebumps occur as a result to cold temperatures, aiding in the maintenance of homeostasis by preventing the internal temperature from dropping too low. When the body becomes too hot, it signals the nervous system to initiate sweating, a process that cools the body as the sweat evaporates from the skin. Conversely, if the body senses cold, this information is transmitted through the nervous system, triggering the formation of goosebumps and shivering mechanism that aids in preserving and regulating heat within the body. With insulin resistance, it occurs when the body cells become less responsive to insulin due to prolonged exposure to excessive levels of the hormone. It's a situation where the usual signals of insulin are not as effective in facilitating the absorption of glucose by the cells, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. In the context of insulin resistance, it's not just about the levels of insulin, but rather the cells becoming less responsive to the hormone even when there are elevated levels of it. It's like a communication breakdown between insulin and the cells, making it challenging for the glucose to be effectively taken up despite the higher insulin presence. When we consume carbohydrate-rich foods, they undergo breakdown in the body producing glucose this influx of glucose into the bloodstream leads to a rise in blood sugar levels. To manage this excess blood sugar, insulin is released as the body's regulatory response. It involves extracting glucose from our bloodstream and transporting it into our cells, which is a routine function of the body. Our bodies are designed to handle occasional increases in blood sugar. 
However, if we consistently consume high carbs food throughout the day, leading to the continuous breakdown of glucose, our blood sugar experiences frequent spikes. The blood sugar may not even have the chance to return to baseline before the next meal, perpetuating a cycle. Subsequently, more insulin is released to manage the surplus blood glucose generated by the repeated eating pattern. The consistent influx of glucose and the subsequent high insulin levels can overwhelm our cells. As a result, they may start resisting insulin as they are already saturated with glucose and less responsive to the hormone signals. This becomes a vicious cycle, a loop where elevated insulin levels contribute to insulin resistance and in turn, insulin resistance leads to even higher insulin production. This cycle continues escalating over time and potentially manifesting as various diseases due to the sustained imbalance in blood sugar regulation. High glycemic variability, characterized by significant fluctuation in blood sugar levels throughout the day, is closely linked to insulin resistance. The continuous spikes and drops in blood sugar can contribute to the development and exacerbation of insulin resistance over time. Consistent elevated blood sugar leads to increased insulin production and if there is not enough time for insulin to return to baseline before the next meal, it remains high. This perpetuates the cycle, creating a scenario where sustained high insulin levels contribute to insulin resistance, forming a challenging loop to break. When your blood sugar consistently experiences spikes throughout the day, your body responds by producing elevated levels of insulin to manage it. If there isn't enough time for insulin to return to the baseline before the next meal, it remains elevated initiating the cycle. High levels of insulin are referred to as hyperinsulinemia, and it is this condition that is primarily responsible for the associated symptoms and subsequent development of diseases. Unfortunately, insulin resistance frequently paves the way for type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, and various other inflammatory conditions. The indication of insulin resistance can persist for months or even years before the diagnosis of related diseases, often going unnoticed by many healthcare professionals. Recognizing indicators of insulin resistance early on allows us to address the issue and take proactive steps to prevent the development of chronic health conditions. The sooner you are aware of this information, the sooner you can take measures to lower insulin levels, thereby reducing the risk of diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and dementia. It's all about early awareness and proactive health management. Here are some key signs that you are becoming insulin resistant. 1. A central obesity While excess fat stores are generally unhealthy in the long run, the specific concern arises when fat accumulates around the middle referred to as central obesity as it is closely linked to insulin resistance. When the body produces insulin in response to elevated blood glucose levels, any excess glucose not immediately required for energy is converted into fat, predominantly contributing to central obesity. If your waist circumference surpasses half of your height, it serves as a noteworthy indicator that visceral fat is accumulating. Specifically, a waist circumference exceeding 40 inches for men or 35 inches for women is indicative of insulin resistance. 2. Elevated blood glucose Maintaining blood glucose level within a narrow range is crucial. You can monitor how your blood glucose responds to food. Before you eat and 2 hours after, check your blood glucose levels, regardless of your meal 
your blood glucose should ideally return to a baseline range of 4 to 7 within that 2 hour window. If the time for your blood glucose to return to baseline extends beyond the expected window, it can serve as an additional indicator of insulin resistance. Specifically, a fasting blood glucose level exceeding 100 mg per deciliter is noteworthy in this context. 3. Fatty liver disease while excessive alcohol consumption can contribute to fatty liver, there is also a concern known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It's estimated that an astonishing 25% of the world's adult population has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fatty liver, in turn, triggers insulin resistance leading to the development of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Additionally, it stands as a predominant factor in the onset of liver cancer. 4. High blood pressure The presence of hypertension or elevated blood pressure can also be an indication of insulin resistance. 5. Skin tags These often manifest as small fleshy growth in the skin around the neck or armpit, spurred by an overgrowth of skin influenced by excess insulin. Another indicator is acanthosis nigricans, characterized by thickened velvet skin patches, typically observed around the neck and armpit. This condition, too, results from excessive insulin production leading to skin overgrowth. Additionally, the set indicator is poor reproductive health. Polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS stands out as the most prevalent form of female infertility. Similarly to the kidneys, the ovaries are sensitive to insulin. Excessive exposure to insulin inhibits the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, which is a natural process. This leads to insufficient estrogen levels to signal the monthly release of an egg. As a result, Partially matured eggs are retained in the ovaries, presenting as cysts. The absence of egg release eliminates the chance of pregnancy in women or contribute to erectile dysfunction in men. 7. Triglycerides levels surpassing 150 mg per deciliter or reliance on medication to manage triglycerides also warrant attention. 8. An HDL cholesterol level below 40 mg per deciliter for men or 50 for women is another significant indicator to consider. Additionally, if you experience easy water retention or swelling, brain fog, and if there is joint pain or inflammation, it could be indicative. While osteoarthritis is commonly linked to joint wear and tear, insulin resistance is also a direct contributor to compressed joint health and associated pain. Frequent carbs or sugar cravings is also a factor to consider. Also, energy fluctuations throughout the day and experiencing poor sleep quality or inadequate duration are further signs that may indicate insulin resistance. These are some of the signs that you should look out for. Understanding that a family history of heart disease, insulin resistance, or diabetes elevates your risk is crucial. It emphasizes the importance of proactive monitoring and lifestyle choices to mitigate the potential risks. Lifestyle changes play a pivotal role in preventing these conditions. Getting your fasting insulin checked is a valuable step as it has demonstrated the ability to predict type 2 diabetes. It provides an early indicator allowing for timely interventions and proactive health management. The rise in insulin often precedes an increase in glucose levels. A fasting insulin level exceeds 6 micro units per milliliter is indicative of insulin resistance. Monitoring this early 
marker can be crucial for identifying and addressing potential health concerns. If three or more of these indicators are present, you officially have insulin resistance. Unfortunately, this increases your risk significantly for diseases associated with insulin resistance including type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease among others. People may display one or several of these signs. If you identify any of them in yourself, now is the opportune time to take action and enhance your health before you encounter more severe consequences of poor metabolic health. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share and make sure to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next video.